An encounter with God and His Word can change your destiny. Every time we come together to worship God, every time you come to expose your heart to God, expect an encounter. You know, coming together in this manner to listen to God's Word has become normal practice. So we come with hardly any expectation for an encounter. Now listen very carefully. In the book of Luke chapter 5, the Bible talks about Jesus coming to the lake of Genesaret. And he sees two boats. And he says to, he gets into one of them and he says to Simon Peter, Take it into the deep a little bit because he wanted to preach the word. He taught the word, remember? Because of the multitude, he said. Is that true? Come on, talk to me. That means there was a multitude of people that were listening to Jesus. But only one man was impacted. Listen carefully. You can listen to the word of God and walk away without an impact. You can listen to the word of God and not have an encounter. That's why he said, he that hath ears, let him hear. Everybody's got ears. But when you hear God, something has to happen. Something dramatic, something profound, Something that will change everything in your life. So Peter hears the word. And Jesus says, cast your net in the deep. Now that's challenging. Because here is a carpenter by profession. Telling a fisherman by profession, cast your net now. He says, Lord, I worked all night. He said, yet at thy word. You with me? That means Peter is convinced. Although it challenges his knowledge, challenges his professional experience, he said, at thy word. That means something happened for him to say, I may look like a fool doing this. All the other people in my profession are going to make a joke of me. Because nobody goes fishing now at this hour. And we toiled all night and nobody caught nothing. But the impact was so powerful that he could not resist. Come on. You with me? So he says, okay, Lord, I don't care what. I'm going to cast my net. So when he casts his net, what happens? There's a draught of fish that is brought. The boats are sinking. The nets are breaking. The next thing we know. That's a miracle, okay. But the miracle I'm talking about is not the boat sinking and the net breaking miracle. The result of that caused Peter to fall at the knees of Jesus. He said, Lord, I'm a sinner. Something happened. His inner eyes were open to expose his real self to God. Don't just get excited about miracles. The miracle that you experience in life, whether it's a financial breakthrough, a job, a healing, a, 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 a relationship being reestablished and restored, whatever that is, should cause you to open your eyes to fall at the feet of Jesus and say, Lord, my God, here am I. But many of us just celebrate the fact of increase. And then we go after our own things. Peter did not just do that. He never said, "Now I got the formula now. Let me make more money now this way. That was not the point. The point was the miracle caused Peter to give his heart to Jesus. Every miracle that you experience in life should draw you closer to God. Don't try to use God for your benefit, 
but let God use you for his glory. Let every miracle make you more aware of the goodness of God and make you realize that he wants to use you. So when he says, Lord, I'm not worthy of you. He says, Peter, don't worry. From this day, you will become fishers of men. That means what? I see your heart changed. I am letting you know my purpose for your life. You are a fisherman by profession. But by encounter, you are becoming a fisher of men. Every encounter with God. Every encounter with God will enable you to discover your destiny. Encounter does not mean just being healed. Encounter does not mean just being blessed financially. Encounter means transformation. The result of encounter should be transformation. Everybody with me? Can we stand to our feet? Just a few minutes. And I just want us to worship him. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Open your hearts and welcome the Lord's presence.